First, you're a druid. I get it, you're too smart for school, right? So how do I do it, Pete? Do what? Beat those rich kids into submission. Well, what have you tried so far? Random violence, widespread destruction, gratuitous sadism. No, no, that's not gonna work. They get all that kind of stuff at home. Now what you gotta do is you gotta beat one of them publicly. You gotta prove to them you're better than their best man. Why don't you box that dumb jerk Biff? Not bad, Pete. Not bad at all. All right. See you around. Wait, Jimmy, can I come too? You know what? Don't worry about it. You're supposed to be in class this hour. Hope someone's taking notes for you. You really should be in school. Get back to school before Officer Monson fights you. You and me, Biff. You and me what? You and me, the noble art of boxing. May the best man win. And then you little trust fund fairies will know what life is all about. Anytime, Popper. Of course, the best man always wins. Me. Come on. Afterwards, you can clean my shoes. Surprisingly tough! <laughs> Kid just beat up Biff. He's our new it, champion. You? What? He is That's the right. new champion. Yeah, come on. Come on, man. Woo! You disgust me. <clears throat> it takes more than victory to become a champion. It takes breeding and nepotism and snobbery. You filthy Democrat. Gentlemen, are we going to let some gutter snipe come in and beat up our friend Biff? No! Then what are we going to do? Beat him back to the ghetto! Yeah! 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 You guys soften him up. I'll get a drink. It's just a minor setback. My train's going with me.
wretch, hiding behind your friends. I'm leveraging the assets I have, and you don't. Friends. Just shut up, Darby. Here's some more tactics for you. Poor boy. Better collect that. I would just... Get some of my friends. You can run, but I can hire people to hunt you down. Kids, uh, who's the boss now, my waspy little friend? Uh, Answer the question. You are louder. You are. Uh, That's right, me. Now you girls learn to play nice. You understand? Now Darby is really stupid, malevolent, and rich. So it will surprise none of you to discover in a future life, he'll end up in Congress. But this is my story, not his. With the trust fund babies under control, it's time to turn my attention to their sworn enemies, those greaseball kids. So, you must be pretty proud of yourself. You taught those rich scum a lesson. They're rich, weak bullies. It was easy. They picked a fight with me, and I showed them who was boss. And Gary got them to pick that fight, so maybe you'll show him as well. Gary's an even bigger problem. He'll have to wait. Hey! What's this throwback want? A haircut? A nice strong man to cuddle up to? Who knows? Jimmy Hopkins, right? My friend Johnny needs your help. Then tell your friend Johnny to come and ask for it. Nobody tells Johnny anything. Johnny Vincent does the telling. Well, he doesn't tell me what to do. Now beat it, greaseball. You're causing an oil slick. I said he needs your help, man. Do I look like a charity service? You're gonna pay for this. What is wrong with this place? Everyone here either needs help, wants to beat you up, or both. Well, you know who Johnny Vincent is, though, don't you? No, and I don't care. He's head of the greaser clique. Get friendly with him, and he can help you get to Gary. Yeah, maybe. I'll tell you something, Pete. This place blows. Tell me about it. Adolescence is like being tortured for five years. Gosh. I can't believe Lola actually okay? talked to me. <laughs>